Okay, this is Zacatecas, Mexico, one of the great silver districts of the world. We're looking here to the southeast along the Beta Grande. This part of the Zacatecas district produced over 200 million ounces of silver. And the interesting thing is this trend goes for over three kilometers to the southeast. It also continues up further northwest and it continues into the properties of Zacatecas silver. In the far distance of the northwest, you can see the likely extensions of this very rich silver zone. The total trend of this vein system could be traced for over nine kilometers. The northwesterly projections of this vein system from Beta Grande can be traced through lines of old workings into the ground of Zacatecas silver, into the El Cristo prospect. To date, this has only been tested with eight drill holes with positive silver indications. It provides a tremendous upside in the El Cristo target. Nos encontramos en la zona del Pánuco, que se encuentra a seis kilómetros aproximadamente del, de la Beta Grande, que se encuentra allá en las colinas. Todo el sistema aquí corre Sure Noru, Noru sistema de vetas, y eh, aquí nos encontramos el Pánuco, son tres vetas principales, Pánuco Central, las eh, tres cruces y Pánuco Oeste. Aquí se definió con 67 barrenos, un, uh, un recurso inferido. En el primer semestre tenemos programado un plan de barrenación para definir me mejor el recurso. So this is some core from the El Cristo system, which we believe to be the northwest extension of the Vita Grande vein. When the core is taken out of the ground, it's as a hole, it then gets sawn in half, so you get the half core. One half is immediately taken for chemical analysis, and then the second half is put into the core boxes. What we're going to be doing is resampling the second half of the core. So we'll bag it up with sample numbers and tags and cable ties, and then it will be put into batches with blanks and standards to test the analysis process and then we'll get the values of the silver and if there's any gold in there. So what we're looking at here is the old workings as part of the old Cristo vein system. This is one of the workings on uh, some of the veins. You can see here the white quartz carbonate sulfide rich material which bears the silver. This material is very distinctive and we can map out expressions of it over more than three kilometers of strike length in this prospect. I'm standing here in the southern part of the Zacatecas mining district. Behind me is the Endeavour Silver operation called the Compass Mine. This is a recently commissioned mine that was commissioned in 2019. It's a series of north-south veins, which we believe trend in our property. What's significant here is there's significant gold in these deposits, approximately four grams per tonne with about 80 grams per tonne silver. And as I said, we believe these veins, which trend north-south, possibly pass into our ground out here to the northeast. So in front of me, we can see the area of concessions here, the El Dorado claims, which pass out to the northeast over a fairly large area in front of me here. I'm currently stood next to some of the old workings on the El Cristo project. Behind me, you can see the Vita Grande vein system, which we believe extends to the northwest into this El Cristo vein system. It's fairly unexplored with only eight drill holes along a three kilometer strike length. The El Cristo vein system is fairly wide with many parallel veins across a width of about 200 meters. All indications suggest that the Vita Grande vein system behind me extends into the El Cristo system.